said, you know, we were making plans to do an interview. Like, we didn't do an interview that day because he, he didn't have his haircut. He, he wanted to be fresh on camera. You know what I mean? But he was he was down to do it. Blah, blah, blah. He just dropped this, this UGK mixtape. He was chopping it up. And then a week later, I got the news. It was, it was fucked up. But, but I, what I do remember was that Pimp C was a character. Oh, my God. Black, like... Yeah. Like, yeah. like, Pimp C on record was Pimp C in real life. Yeah. Like, th that was the amazing part to me. Yeah, he didn't hold nothing back. He didn't hold no punches. No. Nothing. If he had something to say about somebody, he said it. He told me some funny ass stories about some other rappers that I cannot say on okay, camera. I'll tell you after. <laughs> man, man, oh my God, man. Him, that was like my brother. You know, Pimp C was um, at my house, you know, down the street from you, uh, the day before he died. Oh, wow. Yeah, because he was in LA. Yeah, it was in LA. When he I came there. to LA for me. We did. Uh, he came. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. When when I first moved to LA in '06, uh, he was in. He was locked up at the time. I think, but it was close to him getting out of there. And uh, and uh, I made. Um, I produced a single for him, the player's anthem. Uh, with them and Outkast. Three Six Mafia was originally on it, but we was fresh out the Oscar, so uh, Sony was tripping out giving them single rights for us, but we was on the album version. So uh, they used Outkast for the single version. I know it was their first number one song and their first platinum album, because I got that uh, I got that that uh, plaque at home. Pimp C was returning the favor for me. He was like, man, you know, anything you need me on, let me know, let me know, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, uh, oh... I want to put you on uh, this new Three Six Mafia album we was making. It was the last Three Six Mafia album we made, the last to walk. And uh, Pimp C was on that album. And, uh, we had just recorded that song. We redid, uh, what's the name of the song? Pocket Full of Stones, what we call Riding on the Chrome. And, um, and he did that song, and we was at my house in, uh, in uh, LA. And then he spent the night over my house. We stayed up to the next morning, and, uh, he took he took the garbage out for my son. My son, he's like, oh, little man, sit down, finish eating your breakfast. I took I do all this shit. And my son knew he had to take garbage to the street every day, and we had a gate around the house, so he had to you know open the gate and take it out there and close the gate. He knew he had that was his job every morning. And Pimp C uh, did that for him. We hung out to about eleven o'clock, and then uh, I got my guy to uh, drive Pimp C in my car. I was like, man, I'm like I'm fucking about to pass out, man. <laughs> and uh, Pimp C was staying away in Hollywood. So uh, my guy drove Tim C in my car to uh, his hotel, and then he came back. And he's like, Tim C left this CD in your car. I'm like, what is this? And it was like some unreleased songs. It was this dude named Seventeen okay. that he was producing. That shit was hard as fuck. And I was trying to call him all the day so I could tell him I was gonna bring the CD by there, but um, I didn't get in touch with him. I couldn't. I didn't. I couldn't get in touch with him. So next day, I know we had the same manager at the time. I was trying out this manager. Rick Martin? Rick. Yeah. Yeah. I was that's, trying. that's who introduced me to Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying out Rick. Rick, we weren't with Rick Long. It was Rick and another guy we was with. And uh, Rick called me like Sunday night or something. This was, Pimp was over my house Saturday morning, Friday night, Saturday morning. He called me like Sunday night or Monday morning or something. He's like, he's like, I got something to tell you. I was like, what? And he's like, let me make sure it's true, and I'm, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna go to Pimp's hotel, but something happened. And I'm like, what happened? He's like, they wouldn't tell me on the phone. They said they had to tell me in person, uh, see security when I get there. And he went in there and saw Pimp C body. Pimp C was still in there. He said Pimp C was like, he was laying down like he was praying. And yeah. uh, But it, it was blood all over the bed, like he threw it up, but they thought he had been shot in the head. You know, they didn't know what the hell happened because there was blood all over the bed. But he was kneeled down like he had been praying. And the candles had been burnt all the way down. So they knew he had probably been dead for like a day or something because he always lit these candles to help him sleep. Because uh, I think he had sleep apnea. So he always lit these big, tall candles. And well, that candle would be burnt all the way down. They like, he must have been dead for a while. So um, that's what he had. That's what uh, he called and told me. I was like, oh, shit. And uh, we did the song, we brought the song, and then we, you know, we put rest in peace and all that before. But that was, the, that was the last song that he recorded, that song right there. Yeah, man, he was, uh, he was one of the best to ever do it. Yeah. I think people, people forget about him sometimes. <clears throat> so 
So with that being said, I find it mighty strange that, see, I never seen this interview. I'm just now seeing this interview. I ain't even wonder why Pim went to Cali, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, damn, he died, shit. Well, now I'm seeing this shit. I find it mighty funny that Pimp C dropped dead as soon as he leave your motherfucking house. Y'all get on it all night. You know what I'm saying? Pimp C not going to watch you make his drinks because, you know, he fuck with you. Get on it all night. Oh, you too tired. You too this. To go. I don't know. Why your manager... Introduce Pimp to Vlad, Vlad. You know, Vlad got that funny shit going on. I just, I don't know. Funny, funny, funny. And as soon as he get to his hotel, he just drop dead. Spitting up blood. I find him mighty funny, man. I find him mighty funny. And I hope this guy <clears throat> is under investigation. If not, the popo need to take a look at this cat. You know, in the industry, they be sacrificing people, you know what I'm saying? So, and to be real with you, I don't know why, but this nigga look like he, he drink blood. I don't know why, but I get the feeling this nigga right here be drinking blood. I don't know. You said candle burn all the way down, and it take a whole day for the candle to burn. <clears throat> and he was only there for a day. So he died as soon as he left your motherfucking house. I don't know, man. I don't know. You can't tell, man, how he's supposed to look and shit, but... I don't know, like, he was just trying to remember a story, man. He didn't really look too fucked up about it. And I'm just, you know, my opinion, I wouldn't put nothing past Bum B. Bum B looked like he'll, he'll sacrifice a nigga. You know, you can make Bum B shut up. He looked like he'll, you know, sacrifice it so he can... So him and his family can get theirs, you know what I'm saying? Or, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> but you damn sure you know that Pimp C wouldn't have, he wouldn't have took no deal to sacrifice Bum B. Because Bum Pimp C was a real one all the way through, you know what I'm saying? He was always the, he was the loudest one, always up front talking shit. Bun B in the back, he just, he just letting them talk his shit, you know what I'm saying? You can control Bun B. But, I don't know. One cat said, like, uh, that interview reminded him of that interview with Snoop Dogg and Tupac, where Tupac was talking his shit, and, and, and Snoop just looking at that nigga like, man, you saying too much. But I don't know. I don't know. But I know right, this shit right here. He definitely know what's up. I just find it mighty funny as you, he he spent his last night with you. You called him out to Cali. Y'all got fucked up all night long, all night long. You probably was pouring your drinks out. Pimp getting fucked up. You putting all kind of shit in this drink. Mm. I don't know, man. Tell me what y'all think.